Emory University, Atlanta, Georgia, December 2012. After years of work, mathematician Ken Ono and two of his former students come up with a groundbreaking mathematical formula that will allow scientists to study black holes in an entirely new way. Incredibly, they achieved this feat by studying a single paragraph written by an Indian mathematician over nine decades earlier, Srinivasa Ramanujan. Srinivasa Ramanujan was an Indian mathematician who is unlike any other genius in world history. Ramanujan's work has now formed the basis for superstring theory and multidimensional physics, some of the most advanced math that all the high-end scientists are still using today is called modular functions, which could lead to time travel, anti-gravity, limitless free energy, all of this futuristic technology. He was able to take a little that he knew farther than most mathematicians would be able to take them. He had the vision to see what was important. There are just so many beautiful ideas that he had, some of which are just waiting to be developed. Ramanujan made breakthroughs in integral calculus, which can be used to determine the drag force buffeting a wing as it slides through the air, or the gravitational effects of the Earth on a man-made satellite. But perhaps what is most noteworthy is that Ramanujan insisted these baffling theorems were not simply the product of his own genius. He claimed they were communicated to him by an otherworldly being. He always insisted, and he was very adamant about this, that the mathematical discoveries he made came to him in dreams and visions provided by the goddess Namagiri. In these visions, he would see these fantastic, beautiful mathematical formulae unscrolling before him. Numerous times throughout Ramanujan's youth, he would abruptly vanish for days at a time, then return home without explanation. His neighbors considered him to be psychic, and he suggested that numbers connect us to higher powers in the universe. Could it be that Ramanujan really was receiving information from an otherworldly being? Ever since he was a little child, he was having these visions of the Hindu goddess Namagiri, and on his own, in poverty in India, he re-derives over a hundred years worth of Western mathematics. But then the goddess Namagiri is giving him all this other information that goes way beyond where Western mathematics had gone. 